Okay, so here we are for part one of this beauty retouch, and today we're going to be removing blemishes and enhancing the eyes. So to kick off, removing the blemishes, two tools that I generally use are the spot healing brush and the patch tool. If we go over to our tools bar, we can find the uh, two tools that we're talking about here. Here we have the spot healing brush and the patch tool, and you can see that it has a keyboard shortcut of J. So if we select the spot healing brush first of all, now before we do any retouching, one thing I'll always do is duplicate the layer we're working on. So we've got that background layer. So to duplicate that, just click on it once and drag it and release it over the new layer icon. So now we have a copy of it. So if we make any mistakes, we're nice and protected. So just zooming into our model's face with the spot healing brush uh, selected, we can see we've got a few scars and spots over her face. So to remove those using the spot healing brush, all we'll do is just get the brush to the size just slightly bigger than the spot or the scar by using our right and left bracket keys, position it over it and just dab it onto it. And you can see that Photoshop will remove that for us very, very quickly and very effectively. So all we need to do is just work around our model's face, just looking for any blemishes, spots or scars that we want to remove and just go around quickly using the spot healing brush by dabbing over the area and you'll see that Photoshop removes it. Just one little spot here on her, on her lip. So I'm gonna reduce the size of the brush using my left, arrow, uh, left bracket key just over the size of the head of the spot, quickly dab onto it and you can see that Photoshop removes it. And just one more there. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bags under the eyes and I like to use the patch tool for that. So the next thing we do is first of all, flatten this image and then we're going to duplicate it again so we've got a nice protected main photograph. We press J on our keyboard to select the patch tool. Or we can come up to the toolbar and select it ourselves just over there. And all we're going to do then is just make a very rough selection of the bag under the eye, not worrying about going over too much of the eyelashes because we're going to work on those at a later stage. And then drag that selection onto a nice fresh piece of skin and you can see Photoshop removes the bag under the eye there. Selecting on the other side, and then drag that onto a nice fresh piece of skin. You can see sometimes when you do that, it looks very obvious it's been retouched, but that isn't a problem because as this is on a duplicated layer, we can use the opacity to blend it in just a little bit more realistically. So if I take the opacity of that layer down to zero, that is before we've removed the bags, up to 100, that's where the bags have been removed. So somewhere in between that, and it's your choice where you want to uh, put the opacity, but I'm gonna go for around about the 70% mark, so it just looks a little bit more realistic. So here be before, and then we go for after. Okay, now we're gonna work on the eyes. So we're gonna flatten that layer, and then we're gonna duplicate it again by dragging it over to the new layer icon. Now to enhance the eyes, we're gonna come over to the toolbar, and at the very bottom here, we have the quick mask tool. We're gonna to double click on the quick mask tool, and that's gonna bring up this dialog box where we need to make sure that it says selected areas, and that's got a little dot in there. So we know we're using select care, selected areas, and what that means is that the area we paint is the area that's selected. So we're gonna click OK. We're then gonna uh, get a brush, and we press B on our keyboard, and we're gonna go for a brush that's roughly 30% hardness, and just big enough so that it fits within the iris of the eye. So I'm just bringing it down probably around about 45 pixels. I'm getting it yet, 45 pixels. And we make sure that our brush foreground color is set to black. Okay, so what we're gonna do then, we're gonna zoom into the eyes and we're gonna paint around inside the iris. Don't worry if you go over some areas because we can correct that in a moment. But just paint around the iris so it's got that selection there. And we're gonna move over to the other one and just paint inside, not going right to the edge because we need a little bit of an outline to the iris itself. And just that little bit inside there. Okay, now if there are areas that you've gone over that you didn't mean to, if we just change the foreground and background color, so we're gonna be painting in white, now when we paint, that remove this red overlay from the areas where we just painted that a little bit too far. Okay, so that looks good to me. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do, once we've done that, once we've got our selection done, we're gonna just click once on the quick mask icon on the bottom of the toolbar, and then that'll show us that we've got the eyes selected. Then we're gonna go over to our adjustments bar, adjustments panel, and on there we've got a, selection, a selective color. So we click on selective color, and you'll see in the tools, uh, in the layers panel now, that's created another layer. All I want you to do there is just change that to linear dodge and you'll see straight away by the eye that's visible on screen, it really brightened it up. What in fact that has done is it's enhanced the mid-tones and highlights of the eye. 
Clearly at this stage that's a little bit too much, but because it's on a layer we can reduce the opacity down to an area where we think it looks a little bit more realistic. So that's with 100% and that's with no enhancement. So I'm going to go for roughly around about, there we go, about a sort of 45%. What does that look like when we zoom out? And let's just turn that on and off. Yeah, 45% looks good to me. Now that the eyes are nice and bright, one thing we can also do is change the color of it. Now when we've got selective color used over here, you'll see it says colors and reds, and there's a little two drop down arrows. If we click on those and choose neutrals, these sliders where it says cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, we can now use to alter the color of the eye. And I'm gonna make the eye just a little bit bluer by moving these sliders across. And there we go, I think that looks that looks about right if we just zoom out a little bit. So if the eyes, yep, they're nice and blue. So that's done. Okay, next stage, I'm gonna flatten that. And we're gonna duplicate it again by dragging it over the new layer icon. Now, first things I notice when I look at this picture is the eye over this side here looks slightly lighter than the eye on this side here. Now I can correct that by burning it down a little bit. So I press O on my keyboard, or I go over to the toolbar and we just select the tool, the burn tool here. And when we do that, what I wanna make sure is that at the top of the screen, we're using mid-tones, and we're gonna go for an exposure of about 15%. All I shall do then is just zoom into the eye, increase the brush to the size it fits just inside the iris, and just give it one rotation, painting around like so, so that the eyes then should now, hopefully, be a similar darkness. There we go, so we can see before and after as I just turn that layer on and off. Okay, so that's nicely done. Next stage, flatten that image, and to finish this off, all I'm gonna do now is just add some sharpening to the eyes. So again, we're gonna duplicate the layer, drag it down to the new layer icon, come to the top of the screen, choose Filter, Sharpen, and then Unsharp Mask. Just click on one of the eyes to bring it into the preview box here. Now, what settings I generally use when I'm enhancing eyes on an image like this, I'll go for an amount of around about 110, radius of one, and a threshold of two. And again, these are all personal tastes, so you can play around with these to get the kind of look that you're after. Now when we do that and click OK, obviously the whole of the image has been um, sharpened and that's something we, we do not want that. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a mask by going down to my layers panel, bottom of the layers panel, clicking on the new layer, uh, new mask icon there, and that's a white mask. But what that means is we can still see the sharpening to the whole picture, but I only want the sharpening on the eyes. So what I'm gonna do is now cover that mask and I'm gonna make it go to black. So we're gonna go to image, adjustments, and invert. Now there's a little saying I always remember, white reveals, black conceals. So now we've got a black mask, it's concealing the sharpening that we've just done. So to reveal the sharpening on the eyes, all I need to do is paint on that mask with a white brush. So I press B on my keyboard, so I've got a brush selected, zoom into the eyes, increase the size of the brush using my right arrow key, make sure that I'm using 100% opacity on that brush, and just painting around inside the eye so that what's happening now is I'm punching through that black mask and revealing the sharpening beneath. So there we go, that's that done, and we zoom out. So, there we go, that's part one, just to show you how far we've come so far, we'll just take a, take a quick snapshot. This was how we started, and this is the end of part one to show you now we've removed blemishes, removed bags under the eyes, and we've enhanced the eyes. Part two, tomorrow we'll be going through skin retouching where we add a little bit of tone and contrast to the skin and then moving on to some realistic smoothing. So I'll see you next time.